It's so rare to see someone actually respond to a situation like this in a mature and composed fashion. Oh my God, this is amazing. there, my beautiful, lovely, and intelligent internet friends. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me here today for some actually really cool news. Yesterday, I released this video in which I talked about a creator by the name of Darban. He's a massive content creator, millions of followers on every platform, uh, releasing some problematic videos that featured uh, disabled characters, but the storylines and the choices that were made were really unfortunate and perpetuated stereotypes against people with disabilities, had some very ableist themes running through there. You better be sorry, Wheelchair Wendy. You really think the captain of the football team is gonna go to prom with someone like you? And I, and I talked about that, and I ended that video with this. If I'm gonna call this ableist, it's not because I wanna sit here and say, you suck, you did a bad thing. It's because I want things to be better in the future, and I don't think people are aware of the harm that their actions cause the vast majority of the time. Like I said, if we're gonna call something out as bad behavior, I think it's vital that we are open to the person we are referencing changing. Like change and growth should be the goal that we are hoping to achieve. And in this situation, I think really fantastic and mature choices were made. So as of now, the videos that we were all referencing have been removed from all social media platforms, but not just that. Darman also released a statement on his Facebook page that in my mind should stand as a great example of how to respond to this kind of criticism. Hello, it has come to my attention that two of my recent videos depicting disabled characters were not well received in the disabled community. For those who watch my content, you know that my videos are often centered around imperfect people who need to learn an important lesson. Sometimes, such as in this situation, I'm that imperfect person learning a valuable lesson. So today I would like to apologize to the disabled community. I should have learned more about the disability justice movement and consulted with members from that community before creating content that strives to represent their struggles. I also should have given acting opportunities to members in that community. Not only am I sorry for my mistakes, but I'm also committed to making positive changes moving forward. I've been discussing with my team and here are the specific actions we are taking. He then goes on to list about five or six different things that they are going to be changing within their production company and how they handle things. Things like donating to disability organizations, giving opportunities to disabled actors, and deleting the videos from all social media platforms. Also hiring consultants in the disability community to consult on future projects. I really strive to make my channel a place for all of us to come together and feel comfortable. I apologize that I may not always get every topic right, but I promise that I will always be open-minded and willing to admit, learn from, and grow through my mistakes. Thanks for your continued support. I absolutely loved reading this statement because it's not defensive, nor is it groveling. It's saying, hey, okay, you know, here's a few things that I made mistakes on. Here are the actions that I'm taking to make it better. I think too often in modern society, we kind of want to see people like break and grovel or beg for forgiveness or get canceled if they did something we don't like. And that was never my intention in speaking out about Darman. The intention was to promote education and change and grow. And for the record, this decision was made before I actually posted yesterday's video, so I had nothing to do with this. It was uh, thanks to all of the other amazing disability advocates out there raising and sharing their voices. This is the desired outcome. It is change, it is growth, it is trying to make the world a better place, it is bringing education and making people aware of things they may not have been aware of before. One of the pitfalls that I often see watching commentary videos or listening to the news or if I ever dare to venture on Twitter is that too often a mob forms and kind of calls for someone to be gone forever and their actions are horrendous and how could they? So when we start using labels like what you did was ableist, sometimes I feel like the door isn't open to allow for change. Like we just want people to pay, we don't actually want people to grow. And I think the goal with any kind of advocacy, with any kind of raising our voices or speaking out, is to promote that change and the growth. And unfortunately, sometimes people are simply very unaware of their actions. Sometimes I don't think things through. Sometimes you may not think things through. It's, it's we're infallible beings. And I liked that Darman drew comparisons between the imperfect characters he often writes and the imperfect decisions and thought processes that he had in this situation. In reality, with the influence and the power and the millions of people who follow him and the billions of views that he has, it would be a lot simpler and easier to just ignore the situation. And frankly, if he'd ignored it, it probably would have quieted down, but he didn't do that. He listened, he made changes. And for that, I think that's amazing. So thank you, Darman. 
for listening to uh, the incredible disabled community that we have. I think it is really cool that you took responsibility for your actions, noted what you're gonna do in the future, and are moving forward on that path. I do think it takes a lot of maturity not to get defensive. Hi Sadie, are you coming to say hi? Do you see this pretty dog? To not get defensive, but to rather take a moment to examine yourself and your actions and see what you could do better moving forward. I know that's a process I've had to go through many times in my life, and I am 100% certain it is a process I will go through again and again. We can't know everything. We can't be aware of things that we are unaware of until they are made known to us. And that's one of the reasons I believe doing sort of commentary videos about different things that are happening are, are really important because if we don't say, hey, this is wrong, how is someone gonna know? It's awesome to see real change take place. And uh, I hope and I, I trust that he will follow through on the actions that he has stated. And I applaud him for that. I feel like this was a slow clap that was sarcastic. It was actually me actually applauding. Like, way to go, that's awesome. So I wanted to update you guys on that situation. Uh, I always love being able to be like, good things happened because so much content out there right now is just like, this wasn't great. This person made a mistake. Oh no, someone else did something. And to actually see something good happen. Chef's kiss, we love to see it. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure we love to see it is like a trendy, cool thing to say. I don't know, maybe I'm just getting old. So thank you so much for listening to my update video. Thank you so much to everyone who cared about the situation who left comments on my last video. I appreciate you guys, I appreciate your time. A big thank you to all of my members over on Patreon who make all of these videos possible. There's a link on screen, also linked down below if you are interested in supporting what we are doing here and in joining that Patreon community. So check it out if you're interested, but to you watching this video right now, thank you so much for spending so much of your time here with me today. You could be anywhere else in the world doing absolutely anything else and you chose to hang out with me for a few minutes and I really appreciate that. Thank you. I love you guys. I'm thinking about you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Have heard from the sky all about it. Down the river, high tide flows around me. Through the whispers of pines, I hear them sing. The more you love, the more you leave.